Hello. Welcome on back to okay, Red Dead brother. Redemption 2. Hopefully for real this time. Ho hopefully I'm not going to get like, you know, uh, half an hour, an hour. Who knows? Maybe even only five minutes into this live stream. Um, I tried a live stream inscription last night. And that lasted all of about four minutes and 20 seconds. So, you know. Don't know if this is going to be any more or less successful, but you won't know until you try. That's uh, one thing that's for sure. One thing I can guarantee. Can I guarantee anything else? Hell no. Heck no. I don't know. Are you allowed to say hell? I know YouTube is like a little fucking bitch baby cunt about uh, swearing. <laughs> But, like, if you say hell in the beginning of, of your video, is that a problem? Like, if you're talking about a bullet hell shooter's YouTube, like, nope, nope, nope. Jesus wouldn't like that. Jesus Christ, who art thou in heaven for realsies? He wouldn't, he wouldn't enjoy you fucking saying whatever you want and living your life freely as you please. Jesus fucking hates that shit. Jesus loves the rich. Like, that's all he did in the Bible was he went around... Uh, preaching the prosperity gospel and like washing the feet of rich people which by the way washing feet is a metaphor for sex some lawbreakers multiple people Thank you for that, friend. Hey, no problem, partner. I don't have no money, clearly, but maybe I know something of interest. Where is the gunsman in San Denis has a hidden gambling room? Might be a good place for someone with your skills. Interesting. Get on quick. Two are easier to spot than one. <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs> cool. I don't know if I actually gained honor for that. I'll, I'll be honest, a big reason why, like, the first time I was playing this game, I almost, like, never went after the, like, prison transports is because, like, also half the time it's, like, a guy who clearly did it. Like, there's the one guy who's on the back of a bounty hunter horse who's like, No, no, you're, you're looking for my brother. My brother definitely did it. And it's like, God damn, I knew you were a killer, but I didn't realize you were no turncoat either. Your own goddamn brother? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Hey, stay back now. This is, we're transporting a prisoner here. And, and, and I'll be honest, that's the thing that makes me want to kill, kill those guys the most. What do you mean, stay back? I'm minding my own fucking business. Don't talk to me. But, yeah. Whew. Man, why am I sleepy? I just, like, I just woke up. I just woke up. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. I'm a little groggy, but... Damn. I don't know what time I went to bed, either. I just fell asleep. But whatever, I'm awake now, so yeah. stop being all tired, body. You gotta, you, you gotta wake up. What, 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 am I supposed to drink coffee? Like, like some kind of adult with an addiction to caffeine? No, I got an addiction to weed, which I'm currently not, uh, satisfying. So I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna be irritable and angry and bitter and resentful and sucky and shit. <laughs> So, uh, I think it's going to be a great stream. Hopefully, a a a everybody stays tuned, you know. Fucking ho hold your phone close to your face, your computer, your TV. I don't know. Just fucking basically hug that shit. <laughs> Easy, boy. So, 
Roll up now. What do we have here? I couldn't have drawn it prettier, no sir. Yeah, this will keep me good, that's for sure. Oh, it's you, this guy, the tobacco man. So, uh, hey, mister! Remember me? Come on over. How you doing today? I'm doing all right. Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Just this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, anyway, I ain't Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Oh, thanks. Be well, friend. All right. God, uh, uh, all right, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't know if anyone is still tuned in or listening. Okay, good, thank goodness. Again, I, I love me having nobody tuned in because I can just talk about whatever and not have to be concerned. But, uh, I'm currently listening to Hassan's newest video about Jordan Peterson, which is titled some shit like, uh, Jordan Peterson wants you to breed. And, like, I'm so fucking pissed off that he's like... Yeah, there's a, there's a counterculture, uh, conservative reaction that's happening. Reactionary. That, I was looking for that word yesterday and I couldn't come up with it. Fuck reactionaries, man. Conservative reactionary specifically. If you're like a liberal reactionary, like, fuck off. If you're a communist reactionary? Oh, hell yeah. Anarchist reactionary? Sure, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, anarchism, pretty based, but like, you know, like, if you're not a, a, a you know, a, 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 a commune, what, 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 what? anarcho-communist, like, what, what, what are you doing being an anarchist? Like, what, do you? Do, do you truly... Hey! What's your problem? You got any more venom to spit? Are you done? I don't like you. I'll break you like a chicken Next bone. Next up, you giving me everything you got on. I'm ending you. Gonna come in. Damn, that was a good hit. Ooh, shit. misery coming your way, traitor. Oh, I'm the fucking traitor? Fuck you, bitch. You're through. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Didn't like that one, huh? Takes more than that. No more Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Uh, as much as I would love to <laughs> put my honor down the drain, I'm gonna leave that be. But yeah, no. Like to imply that conservatism is in, is counterculture in any way, shape, or form is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. 
and like I, I'm pretty sure all these like facts and logic people like fucking uh, Borden Jeterson and uh, Benny Shabibo the, the like you guys believe in God God isn't real you fucking morons like I, I like you know no offense to you if you're a religious person or devout in whatever belief you hold I am very devout in my atheism, all right? I, I don't like being an atheist prick going around and being like, you're stupid and dumb for wanting to believe that there's a reward for doing good things and that, you know, life isn't just this purposeless, meaningless, chaotic thing that just sort of happens and then just sort of ends at some point. But, like, that, that that's what it is, at least what I think. Again, I might burn in hell. Maybe old Scratch got me with his dinosaur bones trick. But it's like, the Bible is not literal. Like, if you think the Bible's literal, hey, Frank, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Trust me, you wanna hear this. You bastard. He fucking drew first. Well, uh, wait, I drew first. But he drew back. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. That was a sweet kill cam. Come on now, boy. Oh, whatever, cop. I kill. I I did your job for you. You should you should be coming over here to thank me, not investigate me. Fuck you, cop. But, uh, oh, look at that hey. big kitty. Big kitty. Hey, kitty. But yeah, like, 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 I don't know, also again, don't get me wrong, I know anarchy is more about going after power structures, and like, you know, power structures are inherently a little bit fucked up, and kind of wrong, but like, I don't know, I think ultimately, if you have, like, no power, if you have no authority, then that just leads to a power vacuum, to a power void, where... Somebody will eventually take power, and you would rather have power in the hands of everybody, where everybody has a say, everybody can participate, rather than have the powers, uh, the the power be in the hands of a select few or one person. You know. But uh, yeah, uh, 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 again, uh, like, you know. Uh, I, I'm I'm just a commie sort of fella, cause you know it's obviously the correct option. <laughs> I mean, what is it? Is it supposed to be socialism? Are we all supposed to be capitalists? Like, uh, you know, like fuck capitalism, man. Look, look let's just uh, like if we're doing capitalism, let's just go back to like fucking ancient times. You know, let's go back to fucking barbaric times where we'll just murder and kill and do whatever we want. And then whoever wins, wins, you know? Let's go back to having kings and queens and uh, emperors and emperors, you know? Oh. 
I'll be nice. <laughs> Welcome. Please take a seat. Only a trim or something fancy like? I don't quite know at the moment. Thank you. Looks okay. Yeah, I think going for the classic swept back is what I want to do. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thank you very much. Let's go, boy. So sleepy. God damn it, horsey. You fuck. You're a right fuck, horse. Oh, but that's alright. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do the play. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. So by the way, fun fact, even if you don't approach them, but you hang around downstairs for long enough, the cutscene will start. But yeah, anyway, um, so last time, as you probably could have guessed, uh, when I, I was playing this mission, uh, you know, ended up... Uh, ended up, you know, um, oh yeah, my, my internet cut out, so, didn't really get to play all that much, 
Now, I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, that does kind of look good. swim out here probably get eaten by gators and uh, I'll be back in a moment I want to grab like a drink and also use the restroom well I don't know if I want to grab a drink there's something I wanted to do and I, I can't remember what it was and I'm hopeful hopefully I'm gonna wander downstairs and I'll remember Wait, Arthur, why are you standing? Could you have stood this whole time? Also, is that a grave? What the, what the heck? I'll be honest, I, I left to go have a, uh, a Zyrtec because I was feeling a little stuffed up, so... happened because I'm clearly out of stamina oh, yeah. huh. I gotta say that's a neat little detail that there are graves in the water I never really noticed that I might have noticed it but I didn't pay it much attention 
What's in here? Loot box. Wow, there's actually something valuable in here? Um, that, that's... Yeah, that's a lock box. You know, that's not a loot box. A loot box only has worthless shit. A loot box isn't a thing anymore, is it? God, I hope not. Oh yeah, I still need to die. Oh man. I gotta say, one thing I hate, consumption. The, the physical what, what what is consumption like is consumption a real thing or is that like a, a thing we made up to make fun of like old-timey west things oh I've, I've got the consumption I'm dying from standing around and doing nothing all day eat me gator, eat me, gator. thanks gator appreciate it <laughs> um but yeah what what was I literally just saying something about the gator something about something about something Adorable little guy. Who's that? Arthur, dumbass. Good to see you back, Arthur. Very polite, Arthur. Very kind. Oh, this is where the scout fire is. I was literally just thinking, I was like, hey, you know what I want to do? I want to. Cook some uh, big game meat, whatever I have, and look at that. Damn, I don't have any thyme. It's kind of lame. Oh, yeah, I, I, I remember what I was saying before I got killed and eaten by that gator. I, 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 I was listening to, to an ad on this video for, like, disc plate. And, like, don't get me wrong, I like gaming, I like art. Don't buy a fucking disc plate. Don't buy a fucking disc plate. Spend your money on literally anything else. Uh, go, go out and buy fucking, like, cocaine and overdose on it. Because that's a real experience you can have in the real fucking world. Alright? You, you're not putting up some fucking stupid goddamn art from some stupid fucking video game. <laughs> nah. But, uh... <laughs> I, I'm half joking. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the real part of that ha half joke, the part that's not a joke, don't buy a fucking disc plate, but the, the joke part is that, you know, d d video games are stupid and pointless. It's like, no, obviously not. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is a way to do the job. Definitely won't go wrong.
waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. Valentine. Like, 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 I don't know. Take the money you would spend on, like, a worthless display and just, like, buy a video game, you know? <laughs> like, buy something that's real, that matters, you know? Because I'm just saying, like, like red flag. I, I walk into your room and you just got, like, a bunch of displays up. Like, I'm sorry, but I ain't fucking you. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of there. I'm bailing. W what do you mean you spent money on this? It's, it, it, it's, it's like if you see somebody with like Funko Pops or like action figures. Like, it's, it's like, damn. <laughs> damn, you really do deserve to die alone. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, of course, you know. I'm sure you can find some other weirdo consumption nerd to uh, buy your products and, you know, uh, not give a single fuck about anyone other than yourselves. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the day, for, for the moment that I get an infinite loading screen and then I no longer can continue playing this and I can focus on other things because there are other things I want to focus on I mean I love Red Dead 2 I'll play it till I die and probably even then after I'll keep playing it you know like I, I seriously doubt ghosts are real and if ghosts are real I'm gonna be like super pissed about it not gonna lie I'm, I'm gonna be a real fucking salty fella about it but like if I do come back as a ghost or there is like an afterlife oh I'm playing Red Dead still <laughs> I'm still playing it. In, in, in the last moments of my life before my brain officially shuts off forever, never to be turned back on again, I, I, I will be playing <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2, just, just in my mind. Paul Dalton. Hello, Mister. So, by the way, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, that that th that's the plan. I'm I'm gonna try to do the help do this mission with this top hat. I'll help you out, Mickey. Hey, brother. Hey, Mr. Mr. Arthur. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. So I, I love I love the crazy. term Mr. <laughs> uh, can can we bring Mr. back? I'm hey, Mr. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. He wants I beat up, up a lot more than that big fella. You, you think you're real crazy, mister? I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. Aw. I fought... In a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I, I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get, I get funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Hey, partner. Hello, sirs. Don't need no 
no more uh, trouble you, from me. Mister, excuse me. Out of the way. Howdy. <laughs> hey, mister. Mm hmm. By the way, my, I assume my Arthur's a real skinny fuck, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you do it, Uncle. Don't you fucking do it. You son of a bitch, Maybe Uncle. Mike is right about you. Come on, don't start this. <laughs> Fuck you, Uncle. If you wanted Stu, maybe you should have done more for the camp. I I did kind of break him. I feel a little bit bad about that, but you know what? That's his own fault. That's his own damn problem. Mr. Strauss. Hello there, Uncle. Oh, he's gonna eat an empty bowl. <laughs> oh. Arthur Morgan. Hello. Well, I hope. Well as I can. Sure. It's the right plan. Mr. Strauss. I just... Back at them, Mr. Morgan. Good to see. Now yeah, I'll live. Well, I should get back to it. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. I know. Gross, Uncle. Gross. You know. I did kind of just realize that's what people probably did back in the day before tissues. It just like just blew that shit on the ground. Alright. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail. I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here. We know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon. Doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding, 
You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone, get ready. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! Get up here, Arthur! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! Yeah, fine. I'll, I'm here. Uh, Sorry, I'll be honest. I had to go use the restroom. And I assumed this would happen, but... Distraction. Arthur and I will take the vault. Lenny and John 
Should he deign to join us, cover the front doors. Javier's got the side door. Charles, Micah, Bill, you deal with the crowd. All right? Stay cool. Think on your feet and follow my lead. Okay, let's get there and get this done. country outlaws this is it cowboys one more time one more time let's ride ah! Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This. <sighs> This had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. <coughs> Senior bank manager here, open up the vault. 
Let's go. Okay. Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains, no more deals! Mr. Milton, this is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on!
lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, sir. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! Arthur, we can get in here. Come on. I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. What now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp, they're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Or we die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I no. mean... Oh. Look at us. <laughs> also, hello. I don't know if you're still watching Hen Hut, but uh, hi. Typically, don't talk during the cutscene. Okay. But I don't know. I follow me. I, I've probably Keep mentioned this before in the many down. times I played through Red Dead, but like, I I love the very subtle detail of like Dutch kicking Charles out of the chair. Of just like, hey, hey, I'm the leader of the gang. You give me the chair. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, Dutch. <laughs> I hear voices. Let Charles sleep. Everyone stay now. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. <laughs> well, let's hope they don't see my top hat. <laughs> Also, I guess I'm pretty happy I, uh, Get down and stay out of sight. I put the top hat, hat on for this mission. It looks good. And the game is giving me the cattleman. Once again, thank God these guys are blind because hey, you know. I already checked the trains. You did. You would definitely see Dutch either poking are his head sure? out there, or you would see Arthur's sure. top hat. <laughs> All right then. Come on. Oh. 
Honestly, this part sucks because like this is like w one of the more climactic moments from the game, and like I don't know. Stop farting. Like, also, fuck you, Dutch. Oh damn it! We're never gonna get past these fellas. Horse, then head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out. How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. But yeah, like, the only reason why Gwarma is in the game is, I don't know, may maybe they, they originally wrote it in, but I I believe that the main reason why Gwarma is in the game was because uh, they were planning on adding that island to GTA Online. So, uh, like, a bunch of time and energy and resources got dedicated to making this one area that you do, like, maybe four or five missions in and it doesn't make any sense it comes out of nowhere it's like the worst part of the game and it's really a shame because like I, I really would have liked to see what like what, like where the story would have gone without that like outside influence you know I mean like all games are compromised you know you gotta do one thing because you know uh, it's profitable that's what the bosses say but uh, like I don't know I, I, like Dan Hauser the main writer for this game like he's a really great writer and like they kind of backed him into a corner by forcing sure. the gang what to go think? to Gwarma I don't know they're watching for us maybe maybe not well they ain't just waiting there for no reason yeah let me think for a second I'll deal with them how I can't kill all of them silently, so when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. <laughs> oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? <laughs> Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Also, first of all, Stop. Crazy Cookie, I don't yeah. have to look at your com you comment, and second of all, no shit. Like, not, not only have I played the first Red Dead Redemption, but I've played this game so many fucking times. So, uh, they, there you go. I hope you get your little satisfaction. Now, what, 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 why don't you go fuck yourself? Oh, <laughs> of course it's sad. <laughs> like, I hate to be rude, but you kind of did just come into a random Not person now. stream and well, spoil the boat. game for him. Sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. <laughs> I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I don't know. So what are we going to do now? <laughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain Give him some of this gold to secure his silence And find out where we're heading How do I look? Like a shifty no good killer on the run from the law Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir Hey, who are you? Forgive me, a stowaway Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace I don't know I, I I will say like, uh, with, with like my childhood well, best friend like the first thing he gold, said to I me after I got okay. the original Red Dead Redemption he was like oh did 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 you know okay. that the the, the end of the game happens and I'm like islands, yeah I did asshole I I'd watched a video now, on Red Dead Redemption too and that's why I wanted to play it so bad it's like it's such a such a dickhead move to be like oh hey did you know. It, it's it's like uh, I don't know. It's a classic. What are we gonna Snape do kills Kimberly? Dumbledore, which Hold like you know, spoil the Harry and Potter back, series. Spoil something that sucks. Family. Don't spoil fucking Red Dead Redemption. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? 
Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I mean, uh, you could have that opinion, it. Crazy I Cookie, but I, I think a majority of people would prefer dust. you didn't That's spoil anything show. for I you. Ain't no sailor, you know? But, uh, <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you. Like, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you are supposed to be upset by the ending of the game. Because if not, then... What, why did you play the game? Why did you care about all these characters? Like, video games are exercises in empathy and understanding. Also acceptance, you know? <laughs> oh, look at Arthur's big beard. And don't get me wrong, I think if the story is truly good, like, you can have the whole thing spoiled for you, and you'll still enjoy it, but, like, it's much more enjoyable to not know the twists and turns that are coming up. It's like, uh, what, one of my favorite TV shows, um, The Good Place? Like, at the end of the first season, there's, like, a big twist. And, like, it's so much more satisfying to, like, watch along and potentially figure out the twist for yourself or, you know, have the twist be revealed. And it's like, oh, my God, that that's amazing. What a wonderful, beautiful twist. And, like, if you go around telling people the twist, like, that's, that's not a good way to get people to watch the show. It's like, oh, you'll be less surprised when it happens. It's like, no, that, that's why. I play video games because I have nothing. I'm a nobody with n nothing going on in my life, so I play video games to feel emotions and to, you know, pretend like I'm a cool cowboy badass Arthur Morgan and not some sad sack of shit playing a fucking video game. Welcome to the new world. Sorry to hear about your dog. I don't know I, I've never, I've never had a dog except for the one I have now. His name is Kip, and honestly, he's kind of a little shit. But uh, no, nah, I'm more of a cat guy. I, I, I've had cats die, uh, or get lost. Like I had a cat named Patches, who was the sweetest cat in the world, and when we ended up moving houses, he. Uh, got out and we never saw him again and the same thing happened with my uh cat shadow who was like one, one of my favorite cats but now i have a new cat mech you know and it's like it, it would be nice to know you know when you're going to lose somebody and when you know it's your last chance to spend time with them but you know the whole point of life is you don't know when that's going to happen. So you got to appreciate the time you have and appreciate the people and loved ones you have in your life before they're gone. Because they can go at any moment. Heck, you can go at any moment, you know? Milo's a great name for a cat. I'll, I'll be honest though, my, my current cat, Mac, she, uh, she's one of my favorites because she's like really affectionate and sweet. Sometimes she can be a bit of a handful, but I don't know. She, she, she's a manx. She's got a short, stubby little tail. 
And she kind of she kind of acts a little bit like a cat dog. <laughs> no, Arthur is a uh, quite the opposite of drunk he's been out at sea for you know at least a couple of hours and is barely alive and just washed up on shore though I, I suppose this is kind of similar to the drunk filter in the game chapter 5 Gwarma the chapter they put in only because they wanted to add more shit to GTA online and thank god they did because you know I was just like, oh man, there's just not enough content in GTA Online. What, what, what am I going to do if they don't add another heist to GTA Online? I'll, I'll be heartbroken. M meanwhile, you know, they can just uh, <laughs> leave Red Dead Online for the dogs and abandon this game and not have any DLC or any updates, you know. Like, I think uh, pretty much everybody will, would have loved a Sadie Adler DLC, but nope, you don't get that. You get... Some shitty DLC for GTA Online. Mm. My favorite is Arthur. Arthur and John. It's a competition, but I think Arthur beats out John. Just for me, personally. You're alive! Arthur, okay. There's a miracle! It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. I find it hilarious that this is when they reveal. Oh, yeah, Micah? He's got a pop out belly. He looks like shit. <laughs> because he is shit. So. Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarma. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you I doing? I love Dutch's fake name. Mr. O'Malley. Aiden O'Malley, Surviving. I think, is his best. <laughs> Certainly a lot we better than Hoagie McIntosh. In the storm. Is that so? No. <laughs> I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around uh, here no, right this now, is on Mr. PS4. The PS4 a Pro a though. Vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. I do I do wish they Vamos. updated this game for the PS5. Came out with a version for that, but sadly, wasn't meant to be. That means move. You got a long walk ahead of you. Again, I don't know why. I would I would pay sixty dollars again for this game. Drift, Mr., uh, <laughs> Just update the graphics, add in a few more details. Levi, do do a Sadie Adler, Adler DLC. <laughs> we run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Oh yeah. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs, and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. <laughs> How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They're strung up in the streets. Fun fact, enough. if you don't walk and during do we this seem part, like Haitian pirates too. <laughs> that'll happen. No, oh, sorry, hey, Mr. Simon. You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. He was going the scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. 
Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guam, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck then. Yeah, we are stuck on Red Dead 2. Well, but uh, if rumors are to be believed, worth, they're I remastering the original. You and me both. Hey, that's true. I'm really excited for it. But I'll, it's still rumors at this point. It has yet to be officially confirmed. It's kind of unofficially confirmed, but eh, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when the trailer drops or really anything to indicate that it's going to be Who coming out. People? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> yeah, it might be on PS4. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection. That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévate. <laughs> I mean, you could try to do that, but <laughs> Rockstar is like one of the one of the biggest gaming corporations out there. They got a shitload of money. Um, I don't know if this is still the case, but uh, like GTA Five, I think for a while, probably Red Dead Two beat beats it out as like the most expensive games e e ever made. Auto 5 is number 6. GTA 5 was 137 million. Destiny was 140 million. Red Dead 2 was 170 million. Cyberpunk was 174. Star Wars The Old Republic was 200 million. And Star Citizen was 415 million because of post game updates. Oh, poor Javier. I could just go to sit here and hang out.
Eh, he gets to live. Come on, follow me. Quick. What you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Hey, I'll have okay. you know I'm a drowned rat king. All right, well, you you, you remember that Dutch? You. We must be very. You remember careful. that when the rats eat your corpse? So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Equa Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, we will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well, goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. Oh, I thought getting I... stressed out was the way to go. I'm so sorry. Boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill. Do some more scouting carefully. <sighs> Poor Arthur, he's all sunburned. to do first. Well, so there you are, Micah. Piece of shit. Still can't believe it. Hosea, Lenny. Hosea was dying anyway. Lenny. Mm, well, you know what they say about pride before a fall. That's all you gotta say. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. You're, sure, you're real lucky I can't shoot you in the fucking gut for that one, Micah, because I would. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs>
<laughs> Sleepy time. Genetics! 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 Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from, my master? Huh? 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 What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, he's trying to catch some shut eye. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> ¿Quién es este hombre? ¿Ah? No lo había visto antes. Me estaba siguiendo en el bosque. Un tipo raro. Okay. Shh. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Thanks, partner. Go. Go. Come. Follow me. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Oh, okay. let's not sneak Keep though. I hate sneaking. Kill anyone. Oh, I Catch can't us. even kill people. Lame. Who was that, sir? What are you trying to what tell me? Happened? Killing people is bad? But I do it all the time. <laughs> Does that Weak. make me some kind of bad Hide. man? Over there. Okay, they moved. Come on, keep close behind me. Let's go. Stay close. The guard, keep out of sight. Yeah, I'm trying, pal. Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Move over. I I got to say, I know it's it's not necessarily intentional, but the fact that like almost every character when you're sneaking around is like, "Come on, keep quiet." Like, you're the one talking, asshole. Shut the fuck up. Take your own advice. Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of this door. Ratas? Yeah, nothing wrong with being raised by rats. You know that story about, like, the guy that was, like, raised by wolves or, like, the Jungle Book or whatever? I was raised by rats, and they raised me right. Turn me into a vicious killer with, with, with a little heart of gold. Out of the way! Okay, let's move. <laughs> 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 
maldito bastardo! Knock them down from there! Use the ropes! Listen, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I've just been tortured. It's really hard to aim. Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptist. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. To annoy everyone? Yes. Are you? We'll see how long that lasts. Okay. Yeah, that's a trap. <laughs>
Fuck that, it's way too many people now. <laughs> nice. Wow. I'll be honest, most of the time while I'm playing Red Dead 2, or really in, uh, any game, uh, I'll be listening to something in the background, and some guy is talking about how, like, in the Bible, apparently it's like, well, um, you shouldn't have long hair as a man. And it's like, first of all, dumb argument. Like, you gotta, you gotta provide some actual, uh argument other than just you know appeal to authority <laughs> but then in addition to that isn't there a whole thing in the bible about samson and how he got his power from having long hair and then like god asked him to cut it off and he was like all right i'll do it for you god or whatever i don't know the full story but it's like it shouldn't, shouldn't there be nothing wrong with that <laughs> look at that little green iguana I, I love how these guys run. I'll be honest, they freak me out. Like, I wouldn't want one running at me. I would be terrified. But, like, see, see him run around? It's fun. Cute little green lizard guy. Uh, perhaps I'm just biased because I got long hair. I want to study the bird. 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 There's like a couple animals around here that are exclusive. It's like those birds. There's a booby hanging around. A funny name for a bird. And then, uh. Hey! I don't know if there's anything else officially. There's like a green turtle you can find. What's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, gonna get the hell out of here. Man. Set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead. Gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect biting you or something? Cause you gone, friend. <laughs> we look like what we are. Bunch of desperado, on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. 
A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Buenas noches. Buenas noches. <laughs> Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, yo. Hey. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, this is the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <sighs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten, poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this Hercule fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Jose and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many finger teams arriving like clockwork at once again? That must have taken days to organize. Maybe there's some magic in the act. Where the guy is. Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Lift it. Okay, then. Almost there. This way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch? Ah. What? what do you do? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Arthur. <laughs> You're going to strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. Where's <laughs> my friend? I do not understand. Who are you? 
I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? <laughs> Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Sí que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. <risa> bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Listening to that fool, they won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right, I'll take the left. Hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. I'll take this hat. <laughs> Dutch, what do you think? Dutch, where are you? Dad, Dad, look at my new hat. Let's go in there. Why? Well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podría costar como mujeres que usan zapatos. ¿Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Ok, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with this friend. Damn. Over here. Right. What are we doing now, Dutch? Okay. Now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. Got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <clears throat> yeah. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. We better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. 
place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier.
It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Hello, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, let me go join the rest of the fellas. So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You kind of have to hand it to this feller. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight all we want. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay. Let's get to it. <laughs> Shoot them, man. Oh, thanks, Bill. Shoot them. Fellers on me. I see. We got more coming out on the ride. Right. Uh, let's be paid. Push forward, because if we don't, we're going to die here and now. Okay, then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. Come on, I was going to regroup. Were they, though? Because I swear, Dutch has abandoned me way more in the 
story. <laughs> All right. Grab that shotgun, Arthur. There's a lot of guns out there. So what do we do? I said we can push forward because if we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. What am I shooting slugs? It's a fucking shotgun. Everybody what in life. We need to put a serious hole in that one.
get down from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However, in this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool. we follow you. Hanale, this way. Get up around the back of that artillery post. There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Come on, run! Get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them all. Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view.
I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying right here, my friend. Here! <laughs> Yeah, fill up that gun on so long. I know, honestly, I just love Dutch's line, and nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. I am sorry you got hurt. Captain's head. Let's go. Gentlemen. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it. They have sent the enforcements. Is up there, I think. In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. Got it for you, Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you going to be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> We survived. Just about. What now? W what now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. <laughs> we slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. 
Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck is turned. You know? I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? Hey, -oh, I'm back. Finally, officially. What happened to all my money? Do do you really lose your money in this bit? The horse is like, please, just take me. Yep. Oh yeah. This part is either going to get cut out or muted because it's got copyrighted music. But this is a great part.
about it. Well, not Lagraw, but the area by Lagraw where the gang is. I wonder if this is like a speed run tactic. Because I totally see if you're like unfamiliar with the game in the area, accidentally going this way. Oh, you can! Awesome. Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, you're alive! Just about. Come inside. Come on, it's raining. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. Uh, howdy. Hey, it's Dutch. What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of a living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent <laughs> Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf of and then this is funny, because I think it was probably United Micah that told him. But like, give them to a I, I don't know if it starts when um. Actually, let them have it. Everyone get down! Ask him what you told me. Did you, Bill? Yeah, like Micah immediately blames Bill.
Saved us, Arthur. Oh, man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean, so we're gonna have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you gonna do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's Tonka hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now! Miss, I... Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my heart. The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. No. Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern on Million Avenue. Okay. sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. How are you, boy? Another day. All right. Oh, Albert Mason. He's right there. That's funny. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Fun mission. I like that mission. Gatling gun sections are fun.
But, uh... Yeah, no, I think, honestly... Honestly, the plan... I'm gonna try to grow out my beard. And I gotta say, I'm, um, getting hungry. I hunger for flesh and blood. Um, not necessarily flesh and blood, but I hunger. I know, I will say, sometimes I do remember that, that I'm like an animal. Because, like, right now I'm just thinking about steak. And, ooh. Golly gee, I want some steak. You know, I'll be honest. Steak with a good bit of fat on it. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing better. Nothing better. And also hot sauce. Because... I don't, you get the right hot sauce, it's just delectable, man. It's just wonderful. Give me all your money. Open that thing. No, game, why? Why do this to me? But yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just like salivating over food in, in, in my head at the moment. Man, like a bagel. Ooh, I would die for a bagel right now. Yeah, I'll be honest. Like, r r really, the two main things that I salivate over are. Like, you know, chicken wings. Yeah. What do you mean, cousin, brother, father, son? I don't know what you fuck got going on, but it's gross, and honestly, I don't want to know about it. Bastard. Hey, that's one of my favorite horses. Be free, horsey. But yeah, it's chicken wings, particularly with like a fine, a beautiful, tasty, delectable, delectable 
medium buffalo sauce. All right, medium buffalo. All right, that that's for me. You know, like hey, good for you if you can handle the 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 heat and the spice of, of a hot buffalo or extra hot or you know whatever insane shit they got past extra hot. Um. But yeah, and you know, no shade to you if you if you like mild. I think a, a mild wing can be nice every now and then, but like medium, oof, that's the spice. That's the fucking spice right there. Okay. So, Caliga Hall, Coulter, Emerald Ranch. Roads? Um, LeGras? Braithwaite Manor? I don't know. Uh, I think take me down to Strawberry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching Red Lair Media's uh, Half in the Bag on Bill and Ted's Bill and Ted Save the World, what, whatever the newest one is. But uh, it's talking about Keanu Reeves' bad British accent. And I mean, don't get me wrong, if we're speaking about uh, canon here, which again is the lamest shit. Uh, stop worrying about shit like fake canon for some fake character and go get some real money, okay? I'm Rich Platinum, I am the richest man in the world, and I am an American. I simply speak like this in a sort of faux, fake British accent. Who knows, may maybe this is, uh... I'll be honest, I don't know what this British accent is. It's just generic, you know? M much in the same way that my m my American accent is generic. I mean, I don't think I... I don't think I really particularly have one. I mean, I kind of just sound the way I sound. Uh, I, like, I don't know if you could, like, place me, you know? Because I was born in Florida. Do I sound like I'm from Florida? There's probably some fuck out there. Who's like, yeah, you sound like you're from Florida. And it's like, fuck you. But there is probably somebody out there who's like, yeah, I, I actually would have guessed you're from Florida. 
you kind of got that like transport generic accent you know you're not really southern but you're not really northern you know But yes, I'm also curious what what someone uh, would place this British accent at. Like, would would you say it's like Shakespearean, kind of like just a American doing a British accent, or is it more kind of classical, high end? Do I do I sound like someone you would find on Doubt Doubton Abbey? Do I just sound like a rich fuck, some privileged little snot nosed brats that? goes around doing whatever he pleases because daddy's money allows me to? I don't know, and I likely never will. And perhaps it's preferable if I never find out because, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, this is not even a character. I don't give a shit about what the British think of me. Are you kidding me? There are so many other people whose uh, opinions and thoughts and values I would love to hear over a fucking British person. That's not to say there are no good British people, but, you know, in general, fuck British people. Just like you could say, fuck Americans. You know, Americans suck, and that's because Americans are poor and stupid. And they're poor because they're stupid, and they're stupid because they're poor. And they can't seem to realize this, and they never will. Which again, very beneficial for me, a rich man. Yes, please poor people, keep voting for the Republican Party. Yes, truly the party of the people. Although, I will say, not a big fan on them being anti-gay. I don't care about the rest of the alphabet brigade, but, I mean, me, I am gay. And honestly, again, I don't care what anyone thinks, but I'll be damned if some fucking goddamn hick murders me, burns me on a cross, just because I know that women are, obje are objectively inferior to men. I mean, come on now, I'm the greatest human being in the entire world, and the only person that I could ever imagine fucking is somebody who looks very similar to me. Like, if I had a twin, I would probably fuck that person, you know? A male twin. A female twin? I would probably murder her. But, <laughs> dude, just to clarify, th 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 this is all a bit, <laughs> like, like, I don't know, <laughs> to, to me, I find it hilarious that, like, R Rich Platinum is gay, not because, like, you know, that's just the way he is, I mean, maybe it is, but, like, he explains it in, in just, like, oh, well, obviously, I'm a massive mis misogynist, and I'm also a narcissist, so, you know, I would fuck somebody that looks like me, a man. Women, I don't want to even look at a woman. I don't want to hear women. I don't want to see women. And I damn know, and I know damn well, that the last thing I would ever want to do is fuck one of them. Are you kidding me? Now, do they want to fuck me? Yes, each and every one of them, of course. But... I would never fuck them. I would let them think I might if they give me money, but I won't, and I never will. I would simply imply it, and then if they tried to call me out, I would say, Oh, well, sorry, did you record the conversation? Because even if you did, it's not like I ever admitted to anything. Uh, you may have gotten the false idea that I was implying something, but you are obviously wrong, and I, as always, am right, and correct, and proper, and much more attractive than you. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's just fun. I, I, I like the Rich Platinum character. I might, I might get back into doing him more. Might, uh, continue my Persona 3 playthrough, or might even cons- continue my Persona 5 playthrough. 
I don't know, either way should be pretty fun. I do enjoy those Persona games, even if they are made by bigots who don't want me to be gay. I mean, god damn it, Nintendo, and, uh, I mean, I guess Japan as a whole. Like, why are you so against gay people? That some of the gayest shit I've ever seen has been from Japan. You people are so repressed, you are turning people gay. People talk about the gay agenda, but nothing makes someone more gay than by telling them they're not allowed to be gay. You know? How you doing, boy? Hi there, mister. Like, even with uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, a great game that I hopefully would love to talk about in depth one day um blue lions is the correct house if you chose any of the other ones you are a fool if you chose the black eagles with edelgard you are a simp and a little bitch <laughs> and if you chose claude i think you're a joke just like claude I mean, you know, he's pretty cute when he, he he's the younger version, but then the game fast-forwards five years and turns these uh, 18 or 19-year-olds into 24 or 23-year-olds. And, you know, like, I think pretty much everybody gets hotter with time. If you think otherwise, you'll... Why would you admit that? Why would you admit that you're a sick, degenerate fuck? I mean, like, seriously, I can see in some characters, like, you have a preference for the older hairstyle, or perhaps even the older outfit. Like, say, Petra, a lovely character. I quite like Petra. But, you know, she goes from wearing something rather sensible to wearing something not sensible. And, I mean, obviously, the in-game lore reason is that, oh, she's more in touch with her culture, and her culture wears the less clothes. And it's like, sure, sure, the made-up culture that she has, that you made up, has to have her wearing less clothing. Yes. Mm-hmm. Definitely nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but no, I can see that. But if you genuinely like the younger versions, that's a bit fucked up of you, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I, I can't say in it with that accent. It just does not fit. I also can't do any other British accent. Like, oh, God, no. This is probably the... Uh, I, can't, I can't even make that. Oi, Ranger. Ranger, come here and give us a snog, eh? Hey, Ranger, why don't you come over here and, and tickle my taint, Ranger? <laughs> Ranger. <laughs> uh, like that, that's not even really a British accent. <laughs> that was pretty excellent. Like, I, I, my favorite thing about the Shire Horse is that this thing has so much fucking mass that, like, when you fall off of it, you got a ways to go. Like, like you, you fall off the Arabian, it's like a second. It's like, it, it's like snap, and you're on the ground. But you, you fall off the Shire, it's like, oh, that's gonna take uh, one to two business days before b before you hit the ground. <laughs> There's just so much mass, and so much surface area on this horse. Because it's a big okay, boy. boy. <laughs> Who's a big boy? You are. Big B. Big B the horse. God, I, I love these pistols. They're so fun. But yeah, uh... I, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember any tangent I was going on with either Rich Platinum or, uh, or, or anyone else. But yeah, let, uh, l let me know how, how my British accent is. <laughs>
and I, I, I guess my, my, my orc voice or orc, they're orcs. I'm gonna say orcs to refer to them. I know they're urukai or whatever, but it's like they're, it's, they're orcs. It's a fantasy creature. But um, but yeah, no, like, 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 I think in the game they're they're like a mix of like British and Australian, and and also all different types of voices, especially in the sequel. Like you, you get all kinds of different accents, which I think is fun. But like a majority of them are like British slash Aussie accented. And oh man, I wish I could do an Australian accent. Australian accent would be fun. Boy, Gunt. <laughs> Good day, Gunt. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> to me, an Australian accent is just saying the word cunt. They say like cunt, you know? I'll say cunt like you're, like you're supposed to. <laughs> like in America, where it's a slur against women. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's an offensive word towards yep. women, but I, I don't think, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's bad enough to call it a slur and to consider it one. I mean, my apologies if you do, uh, and like in in a few years, uh, you know, it's no longer cool to say cunt. I mean, it's not really cool, but like it's fine. It's like saying bitch or dick or fucko. <laughs> like it, it, like nobody cares. And if you do care about that, like again, my apologies. I'm not calling you a cunt, unless you are a cunt, but, you know, uh, I, I could just call you a bitch, or a fucking asshole, or <laughs> a whole array of other words. I mean, r really, I just kind of went through them. I can't think of any more swear- uh, shit, shithead, you know, d just a combination of a swear and then, like, either a noun or uh, possibly a, a an adverb? Like shit liquor, <laughs> like that's a good one. Like I would find that way more insulting if 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 if, if, if somebody called me a shit liquor than like any other word. Like you called me a fuck, a motherfucker, a bitch, a pussy, a cunt, a dick. Like man, eh, whatever, fine. That, that just that just rolls off of me. If you call me a shit liquor? Hey, hey, you can't call me that. That's mean. <laughs> Only, only I'm allowed to do that. And obviously so, because I am rich and you are poor. Even if you are rich, to me, you are poor. And that's what you always will be, and that's what you always are. So get away from me, you filthy fuck. Or get your hands on me if you're hot enough. I'll pay you. Boy, boy, Ranger, Ranger, I got, I got a proposition for you, Ranger. So, what say you and I? We, we ditch these orcs and and and, and, and we go on, and, and we go on a date, Ranger. What you think of that, huh? Come on. Huh? Hey. It's okay, horsey. Yeah. What you think was gonna happen, Bear? What the fuck did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> Again, one to two business days to fall off the fucking Shire. Alright, what's up, Bear Boy? Uh, two star. That's lame as hell. You want lame ass bear, you know that? Also, lame is a word yep. that I feel like but might be offensive one day. Because, I mean, it, like, it, like, you don't really think about it. But, like, y you know, lame obviously comes from, like, the term being lame. A as in, you know, your uh, leg isn't uh, fully functional or whatever. I, I don't know what the exact definition of it is. The older definition before it kind of just... Uh, came to mean uh just like uh 
just like uncool or kind of nerdy, cringe even. <laughs> now, cringe is a word that's gonna get thrown in the in in in, in, in the in the dust. Is just gonna we're just gonna throw that one out. Fuck fuck cringe. We're we're gonna live in a post cringe era. You know, we're all gonna kill the part of us that cringes and kill the part of us that is that is cringe. You know. But yeah, like, uh, uh, but I, I don't know, like, 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 I, I fucking grew up in the 2000s, you know, <laughs> like, like that, 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 I don't know, that, that, that'll just kind of be, be, be a thing I make a mistake with every now and then, be like, oh, that, that's lame, kid, you're, you're, you're real lame, kid, and, and, like, like, say, theoretically, I have, like, a grandchild somehow, some way, and, um, <laughs> And I'm like, ah, oh, you you're being real lame, kid. And then they go, oh, Grandpa, you can't say that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah whatever, kid. <laughs> Back in my day, you should you you would die if you heard what my fucking grandparents would say. But uh, yeah. Not again. I I mean, if if you're asking me, I would say to always err on the, on the side of not being offensive rather than being offensive. Like again, I try not to be offensive, at least towards uh, people who aren't offensive in above themselves, i.e., bigots. Like I, I I don't give a shit if I offend a bigot or hurt a bigot. Like that's that's what I'm here. For. <laughs> that was that was real spooky, Wolfie. Come here, Wolfie. Nope. Oh, nope. The, the river's taking that one. Alright. Nope. Ah, oh, it's a full moon. Are you guys werewolves? You're timber wolves. <laughs> Wait, do, does that mean you guys were trees? Are you, are you guys timber? Are you like logs that, that, that were cut and made into timber? And then when the full moon comes out, you 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 turn to the wolves and attack me, Arthur Morgan. Man, let me off of you, asshole. You're lucky I didn't hear whatever shit you were talking, because I would shoot you in the fucking face. I will shoot you in the fucking face. Oh yeah, I just realized I've just been like wandering around. I think take me to Valentine of all places. I know it's kind of nearby, but I just want to go there and check my beard level, and then 
probably fast travel to San Denis, and then fast travel to Strawberry, then fast travel back to San Denis, then fast travel to Strawberry, then fast travel to San Denis, then fast travel to Strawberry, and then fast travel to Van Horn, try to do the Van Horn glitch, the Van Horn glitch doesn't work, fast, fast travel back to Strawberry, fast travel back to San Denis, and then maybe then my beard will be level 8. <laughs> Alright, so I am at level 8. You hear about the massacre over at the trolley station in San Denis? Howdy there. Welcome. I knew a fellow who worked there for a while. Terrible business. Mon cherry and me. I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vaheen in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in San Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may you be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. You did not ask for anything. You only gave. How perfect. How rare. I detest selfless a selfish asses more than civilization itself. But what is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Pa! No mercy. <laughs> this island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive, but help. the people here are the most generous in ways I may not put into words. I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted like I paint now. It is the work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Always yours, CC. Aww, that's genuinely really Thanks. sweet. Actually, I'm just realizing it might be a bad idea to go to San Denis. Ain't nobody got a heart. Oh, I got a heart, Mickey. I'll help you out. I'm real hungry Hello, here. Mister. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again, friend. I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse from that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. Do you ever forget your name, mister? Sure. See? We're made for each other. I mean, as friends. I knew it. There's a big crazy fellow with a gun. And I'm a little crazy fella. Can't afford a gun no more. Stick with him, Jimmy, I said. And then I, I said, your name ain't Jimmy. It's Mickey. And then... The fella I was talking to in my head, even he didn't want to talk to me no more. I'll see you around. I've gotten real confused. 
Okay, then. You give me a ride. Where to, friend? Annisburg, please. You were having so much fun, you didn't want to stop, right? up for yourself. Thanks for that. Good luck to you. Yeah, Can I get a ride, please, partner? Where are we headed, friend? I need to go to Van Horn. This ain't the place? Hop back in. I'm just trying to grow no. my beard out. <laughs> Also, finally, TikTok is not recommending me shit anymore. I don't know if it's just like a wave where I did something to make the algorithm think I want a bunch of fucking, like, 
zero liked slideshows, but like that's what I keep getting, man. But I just I just got one of a, a of a cat squeezing into like a fishbowl. <laughs> and now I got a slideshow with a good amount of like 66 with vintage cats. See, now that's that's nice. That's what I'm looking for. Okay there. Open the register right now. You sure? Yes, finally. God, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm so fucking sad that um I'm trying to. Uh, oh yeah, I, I gotta wait for Baldur's Gate three to come out on. Uh, uh, like I gotta wait a month before it's out on PlayStation five. I thought it was coming out the same time as the PC one. And like I keep seeing stuff for Baldur's Gate three, and I I I have to skip past it. I'm not. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to know nothing about the game. All right. All I know is it's got you know like the different races and different classes. It's got the uh, gay vampire twink or twonk, whatever you want to refer to him as. But like he's got like the white hair. People seem to like him. I, it doesn't really appeal to me necessarily. I mean, if anything, he would probably appeal to rich platinum, but he would probably act too poor for me. But not like poor in the sexy, fetishized kind of way that I have for the poor. More in like a, you gross, you're poor. <laughs> or you're similar to me, but not too similar, so it's not enough. Yeah, there's that guy there there's like maybe one or two like chicks that that that, that are mean to you gals sorry i i feel like chick is probably something that's gonna get me in trouble like i'm, I'm not gonna say girl like it feels weird saying girl i mean maybe it shouldn't because i'll say boy all the time like arthur morgan here my boy my man I don't know, but if, if I'm gonna re refer to, like, a woman or a feminine person, like, you know, it'd be gal or, uh, chick. <laughs> yeah, I, I, to be fair, I, I don't, I don't go up to people and be like, hey, what's up, chick? <laughs> like, that's, that's a bit weird, you know? It's like, but it's like the same way I would say dude or bro or whatever. I don't say bro anymore. I'm gonna be honest the internet has kind of killed bro for me. Like, I'll, I get pissed off every time I open the fucking TikTok comment section. And I see some little fucking chuckle fuck being like, Well, bro really thinks he's Vsauce. And it's on Vsauce's account. And it's like, I get the joke you're doing. It's just not fucking funny. 
you know like one day i'm hoping one day children learn that just repeating shit you've heard before that you thought maybe was funny is not actually fucking funny you know you gotta put a spin on it you gotta put a twist on it you can't just go damn bro really think he said something with this like fuck off say something real and genuine be a fucking human being think for yourself Damn, bro really thought he was cooking here. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. Dude, bro, bro thought he was it, but this ain't it, chief. Yo, bro. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, but but if you say bro a lot, I picture you as Patrick from SpongeBob. Hey, SpongeBob. <laughs> Also, again, I, I, I just saw, uh, like, I was scrolling through TikTok, and I just saw a Markiplier TikTok, of all people. I don't really follow Markiplier or watch m much of his content. I'll, I'll be honest, like, the main thing I, I watched Markiplier for back in the day was, uh, watch him play FNAF. Like, back whenever that came out. You wanna know how old I was. Take whatever year that video came out, minus it by one. That was my age. But, like, I don't know, I, I remember finally going, alright, what's the fuss? What's the big deal with this fucking game? And, like, it was pretty scary at the time, because, you know, I, I was still a bit younger. And, uh, it wasn't, like, super scary, but I was like, ah, it got, got me good with that jump scare. And then I was also watching it, like, at night at, I think, my aunt's house, of all places, which is in New York. New York City. It's not in New York City, but it'd be cool if it was. <laughs> it's in New York State. Where? What? Why do you need to know that? <laughs> but, uh... But yeah, no, I, I, I watched him for that. I've seen like a few things from him. But honestly, I've seen a lot more of him on TikTok than, than anywhere else, really. Like him and... Is it his brother, Ethan? Or, the, I think it is his literal... I don't know if it is his literal brother. But, like, Ethan, I think, is the guy's name. But, uh... But, no, I, I saw Mark... Uh, he, 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 he made, like, a, a funny TikTok where he's like, Oh, this filter kind of reminds me of my dad. And then... <laughs> Like, he's got, like, a skylight, and he went out onto his roof, looked down in the skylight, and it was just him making a funny face, and it's like, my dad is dead. And, like, haha, funny TikTok. 
And then I I, I I read the caption and it was like uh like oh man apparently the filter got taken down just like my dad SMH and like that's fucking hilarious but then like and the reason why I I ended up reading the uh the the description because typically I don't really care uh. Was because I went in the fucking comic section, uh, the comment section, and there were fucking, like, three people <laughs> who were like, Oh my god, Mark, I can't. Mark, the caption. Oh my god. Skull emoji. I'm dead. All caps. <laughs> and it's, it's like, I, like, I agree, it's funny, but, like, do, do you have to do that? Like, like, like I'll, I'll be honest, like... I do hope to get a following one day, but I'm I'm gonna genuinely, genuinely hate it when when people like say shit like that to me and be like, "Oh, come on, Liam, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get back in there. Don't be too down on yourself, buddy." And it's like, "Fuck you, you 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 don't fucking know me." <laughs> I don't. Know, I, I I I I will say like. Like, I don't know, just one thing, I, I, I don't want people's, like, pity, and I'll, also, I don't want, I don't want people being too overly familiar with me, you know, you'd be like, oh, hey, I really like your stuff, and I think you're great, and I'd be like, oh, thanks, awesome, I think you're great as well, <laughs> I mean, you're like me, and I'm obviously so great, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fucking... Take me on down to Valentine, where they drink that fancy wine. Plume in her hat was two feet tall. The crack in her pants, they pour it all. I got a girl in I don't. I don't remember how the song goes. <laughs> I, like I'll, I'll be honest, I got a girl down Valentine likes to drink that fancy wine. It's just ingrained in in my fucking brain. Like that that that'll just be there forever until the end of time, until the end of my fucking brain's functionality, until the end of my consciousness and my very life itself. What the dog doing? <gasps> oh my god, the dog got in the back of the wagon. That's amazing. Oh my god! That's adorable! Mister? Hey there. You know a good place? Get some food? Sorry. Can't help you. I was just asking. See you around. Can I pet your dog, mister? That's so adorable. Hey, mister! Good morning, mister. Yeah. A worst feature. Worst feature in this fucking game, man. <laughs> what's wrong with hey, what's your issue? Uh, I got a whole lot, but where do you want me to start? <laughs> the heck is your damn problem? You there. Oh, hell. I think the main on, issue Mark, here is I need a haircut. Yeah, take it, I'm at nine. Um, you know what, for now, I think... Go for left parted. Woe yourself, partner.
Look, nobody saw that. You don't know it's me. I'm cheating anyway. I'm just gonna do this. What? Do I have to buy the room again? Just walk out, walk out. No, no, for what? For what, man? What did I do? What's my crime? What's the crime, huh? Easy there, friend. I'm getting used to seeing more bad than good. Fine. It won't be the first time I kept my mouth shut. Stop it, please. I didn't do you no harm. Just get out of here. Enough is enough, damn it. What a bastard. Man. Make me waste a dollar.
I haven't seen you around. Well, we're back. That was some coming home party. We need to get out of here. I'll speak to Dutch. Creep up on you, you know. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... You carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. <laughs> the 10% who survived... They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. 
Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Our gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. The gator! It's got it! Quick, quick! I must get this shot! Oh, fantastic. Okay! So, um, now it's southwest or due west. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop to it. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Closer now. Closer. A little closer, please. He's excellent. Beast in repose. Always calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. Seventeen feet. 19 feet, 21 feet, with a 5-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. Stop the boat just there, off the island. Sure. If we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Maybe I want this monster stuffed in on display. Well, that's the spirit. Uh, out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to know it's you, and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. Keep going. Through the ball. Or disappear toward the back of the island. You'll be fine. Just don't step on it. Got some juice. Oh, he's awake. What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? Huh. <laughs> no. Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Here. 
That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. Are they gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try.
Yep. Yep. Welcome in these parts. Just FYI, I'm down here. I mean, I, this is kind of in Roanoke, but like, come on, fellas. Come on, you don't own this area.
my friend. You there. Having a good time right now? Like what you see? You let me know if you change your mind. Easy now, partner. There. Ready and able. All right. Thank you. Okay, Billy.
Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite, quite. Oh, oh! that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Whoops. I was not paying attention. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, gonna be honest. I, I was scrolling around for, like, different YouTube videos. Oh, whoa. There's somebody here. I didn't, I didn't expect that. now I'm ready to do a main mission good luck sir although as we both know I'm the one who needs it the photographs what are you gonna do with them find somewhere to exhibit them I guess I should hope you'll come and view them sure will 
If, uh... If I can. No. What did you miss? A, a lot. I'm just trying to get to where I'm going, folks. Maybe just go for the whip more. Uh, I mean, I think the story mode is absolutely fantastic. Red Dead Online is alright. It's not great, but I liked it. I wish Rockstar, you know, actually cared about it and weren't just like, eh, we're gonna put all, all our money on GTA 6 and GTA Online. go for that. Yeah. Like where maybe just go for this. How's this look? Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, I'm gonna go with this, trim up the beard a little bit. And I will be on my way to San Diego, I think. Seems like it's been a while Welcome to Smithfield. Good morning, mister. Morning. And you know what? Before I go to Sandini and continue with the story, I'm going to do this side mission. And I'm going to do something particularly fun. <laughs> At least I think. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I haven't even I heard him speak sir, yet. For his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep 
seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. <laughs> you got mine, and I barely... Hey, this is my horse. Hi, horsey. Oh, I'll try. Nope. I did that a little too early. It's been a while since I've done this mission. Been a while since I've done it with the uh, 1899 pistol. So it might take me a couple tries to get it right. But I, I think I can get it. I believe in myself. Ah, too late. That was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller, smaller bottles, bottle, sir. sir. Please. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do, I'll my, do best. my best. As long as, long as she witnesses, witnesses I'm doing, I'm this, doing this under duress. Oh, boys are so silly. That's what I wanted. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. <laughs> Ellen, silence, you blackguard, sir. Uh, if only I had shot a little bit up more, I would have got him right in the eye. Should have shot there. Yeah, see? God damn. Ready? Why? I must be the bravest man I know. Well, I got the bottle. Bonus. He's going for his gun. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, yes, I'm you do because you look like him, and he looks like a right coward. I barely even play. <laughs> nope, too early. Sorry about that. Wanted to check something real quick. All right. Please. <laughs> gotcha. You got mine, and I barely even flinched. Good shot. <laughs> Boom! Nailed it. That was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Unlike Another me, round, I got a big brain. Bottle, it's so big sir. it's coming Please. out of the front of my head. Uh, Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. 
As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Get him. I'm cruel, but I'm not that cruel. Come on. Was he fully formed with that bullet in his eye before I put it in him? <laughs> hey, nice pose, partner. Come on, what? Supposed to stand on one leg, asshole. What's up with that? <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna actually end the mission here now. But I'm still gonna try to shoot one of them. I I'll, I know you can do it for You're those cutscenes, but Should I don't know if you can do it for the final cutscene. I guess we'll see. At least I have brains. Also, I muted my mic, but uh, my my little clip is uh, you have brains for now, buddy. We'll we'll see what happens in here in a moment. Deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have excellent fine shooting. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm. Thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep uh, bothering you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much.
Want something from me? Morning, sir. Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Sorry, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. To a friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do it. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, 
Is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. It, You'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. I can tell. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. Stop soon, we'll all be dying. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Cause he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. 
What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. So, you got Lenny's body out as well, bribed the morgue, and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, 
Friendly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this island. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, didn't she? Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the uh, blue shoes discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in the mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Pollard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want to have your customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Adam. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. This is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Please hurry. Nope, not there. That's not him. Suspicious, wouldn't you say? Wait, is that him? Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! This is absolutely insane. Mr. Bullard, 
can get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Just my feet. Us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old crystals. You can't leave it for one day. Just kill these sons of bitches.
Left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Let's go, boy. Hard to believe you've only been with us for less than a year. You telling me? Well, stick with us. We need you. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody's seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. Evening, Arthur. Reverend, it's good to see you again. You too. But this is a mess. A real mess. I know. How you doing, Jack? 
I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. All that shooting. Well, we're gonna move somewhere safe, okay? Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Yeah, sure. Some reunion, huh? Well, at least you're alive. So what now? We got a couple of days to work that out. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Hello? Okay. Hey, Jack. Auntie Karen, I'm sad. Hi there, Jack. Arthur. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Okay. Hello. You feeling more settled here now? I suppose. Well, it'll do us for now. Sure. Miss Grimshaw. Well, hello, Arthur. Everyone behaving themselves around here? Hardly. Well, I'm sure you have it under control. As if it mattered. Good to see you again, Mr. Strauss. But under what circumstances? Ah, uh, no. Anyway... Lead to it. I suppose. Reverend. Hello again, Arthur. You all right there? I'm not sure. What are we gonna do with you? I guess. Good to see you again. What do we do now? Clearly, we need to move. I'll speak to Dutch. Okay. Guess I'll see you later, then. Well, sure. So, we're back. Hmm. That fool Williamson let him write to us. I don't know. It don't matter now. Well, try to keep your head straight. Whatever, Morgan. Glad to be home. I almost wish we were back in Guarma. I know. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Arthur. Good to see you again, Uncle. So, Molly ain't around? No, not for a while now. You boys sure returned with a bang. And we always seem to these days. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Uh-huh. Starting to wish we'd stayed on Guam. I didn't lead them here, Morgan. I swear it. Uh, it don't matter either way. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. All right. Hello. 
When are you gonna get your act together? Not now, please. Can't go on like this. I suppose. Bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move. But I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got a... I just need time. I need time and no traitors.
Don't mind me, I'm just canceling the mission because in all honesty, I, I want to do it when the light's a bit better for it. Oh. Hi, Martha. Hey, Charles. You still glad you joined up with us? Sometimes, I wonder. Well, we're glad to have you. All right. Hi, Bill. Hi. What you up to? Nothing much. Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. Okay, Arthur. Hi, Jack. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. All right, I guess. Hello. Hi, Julie. Always something, Arthur.
What, Micah? Hello. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Okay. Come here. to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to B4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to B4, Black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight, to F3, white, to D4, black, to F5, white, to G3, knight, to F6, bishop, to G2, black, to G6, knight, to F3, white, to D4, black, to F5, White to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight. To F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6. Bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white to D4, black to F5, white to G3, knight to F6, bishop to G2, black to G6, knight to F3, white. 
two, D four, flash to F five, white to G three, knight to F six, bishop to G two, black to G six, knight to F three, white to D four, flash to F five, white to G three, knight to F six, bishop. To G2, black, to G6, knight, to F3, white, to D4, black, to F5, white, to G3, knight, to F6. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those Oilian actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the pressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well... I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss them. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. But where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I've seen you. Killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we... There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's supposed to be brute country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. Karen? What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. I know the way. Follow me. Come on now, boy. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Ha! It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay. Sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. 
I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. Where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Guarma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, guess I just miss Hosea and his... Uh, Wisdom, you know? Of course. the bridge. It's not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Well, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Get closer to him. Come on, up this way.
definitely Murphy. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What'd you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and come out. Let's get this over with. Okay. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. Light that stick and throw it in there. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Don't touch me. <laughs> we ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> Stay away from me. It's okay, miss. Just calm down. Go. Where are you from? Vandersburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. 
Yes. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. Hey, these... These... Um, it's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they... <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. What's your name, miss? It's okay. <laughs> Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Main Street, it'll be easier to walk from there. What's your damn problem? Wrong. Morning, mister. Hey, boy. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! <laughs> she's alive! Oh, she's alive! <gasps> you saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, miss. Murphy Brew got Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. <laughs> this is down. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike uh, find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. Oh, Dodge! Did it 
miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dust Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me, nothing. Miss. I don't know you, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot She's me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you betrayed so me. What? Calm down, Arthur. <laughs> He's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Hurry, your majesty. You... Take her. <laughs> she knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Yeah.
but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sickly child. Sickly and weird. I have no idea why he followed me out to the West. He would have been better off staying at prep school or going to the seminary. I've spent my whole life horsewhipping the scoundrel, but to no avail. Morning, friend. Hey, sure. Morning, son. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck to you. So long. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Right there. <laughs> you really walloped him. Right, yikes. I'm fine. Come on. In the face. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me, me again. Right here. Right here. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Oh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. One thing for it, then. Hit me in manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? No holding back this time. and he doesn't have any. Don't be shy. Do your worst to him. Come. Enough, gentlemen? Uh, yes, oh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads?
Thanks, partner. go. Alright, considering I'm just a couple minutes shy of six hours, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here, but I might come back and I might just beat the game, who knows. Easy, whoa. Will I beat it fully? Will I beat it satisfactorily? Uh, I don't know. That's for you to decide. Anyway, peace out for now.